At the heart of Pakistan is a city called Lahore. Lahore is the capital of the Pakistani province of Punjab and the second largest city in Pakistan with an estimated population of around 10 million. Lahore is known for its exquisite and wide variety of food. Ethnic food from all over Pakistan is available in its highest quality in Lahore. In recent years, the presence of western food chains and the fine dining experience of sushi and fusion food are also on the rise. This vivacious, fashion-conscious city has a luxurious array of shopping malls, including many high street brands, local as well as international. After all, what fashion-based city would be complete without the fabulous luxury labels such as Gucci, Armani and Dior? With health clubs and spas that match international standards, Lahore also hosts the Royal Palm Golf and Country Club, which is known to be one of the best golf courses in Asia. The city pays special attention to the infrastructure of healthcare as many private and general hospitals are equipped with specialized medical staff and the latest medical equipment. Rescue 1122, which is the emergency rescue medical service in Pakistan, is operating to international standards. The service provides efficient and effective rescue and transportation to the helpless victims of accidents and emergencies. I have been here 47 years. I'm the manager of the Lahore International Association, which is, in short, a club for expats living and working in Lahore. The International Club is somewhere we can come, which is a home away from home, and it's more like our normal life in New Zealand or Australia or South Africa or anywhere in Europe. We have a very nice clay tennis court. We have an excellent swimming pool. We have a full-fledged kitchen, and we are running the only real legit bar in Lahore. If they come here, they don't really lack for anything. I go to each market, and people say I shouldn't go alone. I go alone. and People are very nice. We have a lot of fun shopping here and going out to different restaurants and you know, it's a good life. Today, the multicultural diversity of this city is quite noticeable, which is reflected by its calm social environment, infrastructure and sophisticated consumer market. Tetra Pak has been in Pakistan for more than 27 years. Although Tetra Pak Pakistan was inaugurated in 1982, its story can be traced as far back as 1968. Founded by Auckland and Rosing, Tetra Pak Pakistan started its life under the umbrella of Packages Limited, which is headquartered in Lahore with a factory. Hello Pakistan, uh, my name is Dimitri Smolin. I uh, uh, worked as a factory director in, the, in Lahore for five years. Regarding the security in the country, I must say that if you watch uh, CNN, BBC and read some Western newspapers and then after doing that you come to the country, you will see that the security situation is um, five times better. And the people you meet are hundred times better than what you expect. I traveled quite actively from Karachi to Islamabad, Skardum, often driving myself. Uh, my family stayed with me, both of my kids were born during our stay in Pakistan. We lived in defense very close to the factory. We felt quite safe, we traveled all around uh, Lahore. Uh, I traveled with my kids to the north of the country and uh, we, we spent a very good time. My name is Nejat Chalishkan. I'm the sales director in Tetra Pak, Pakistan. In the last two years, I'm working in Lahore. My Pakistan experience has been filled with a lot of learning. The people in Tetra Pak, Pakistan have been extremely uh, welcoming for me. I think it's, uh, it's a part of the tradition, uh, I guess, the hospitality of the Pakistani people you can see in this company as well. I have my family with me, uh, with my wife and my seven-year-old son. They enjoy Pakistan a lot. My wife found some Pakistani friends as well as some uh, in the international community. From time to time, we get together with, with friends and go out to restaurants and, and have fun. I realized that there is a quite a different uh, picture of Pakistan outside of Pakistan. Of course, those things do happen uh, here. There's no denial of that, but that is a small part of what impacts your life. I had no issues of security when it comes to going out at night or any time. I think the future of Pakistan is going to be bright.
I unfortunately lost my husband two and a half years ago. But in spite of that, I have no intention of leaving and I, I will stay on here for as I presume the rest of my life.